Okay, so in anticipation of the homework, I thought I'd do a quick video to give you some pointers. First of all, uh, you can see here uh, we have these different views. Uh, for me, I, I kind of like this view in MindTap. However, for to know what's really due when uh, MindTap opens in this view here with the vertical panels, um, and it lets you know, like for example, in week two on Sunday, September the 13th at 11.59, homework one is due. Now it's important to note uh, that homework may have multiple parts, but part A and part B are all part of homework one, all due in this example, September 13th at 11.59 p.m. So let's take a look inside the homework. Happily, it takes a moment to load it in MindTap. Um, you'll see a variety of things. First, you have the questions over here. Uh, you have a temps box. We're going to talk about that here in a second, and we have different weightings for the scores. Now, ultimately, when you finish, you need to hit, I'm done, grade the assignment now. That is physically how you turn in the assignment to me. Okay, so if you don't hit, I'm done, grade the assignment now, by 11.59 on September the 13th, this particular due date here for homework one, part A, and then also there's a separate part for part B, so you have to submit both parts. If you don't click that button, it won't turn it in. It'd be like you did the homework, uh, but didn't bring it to class. Okay, so now let's take a look at each individual question here. Each individual question have different weights. Okay, this one's one, two, three... Uh, if you scroll down, there may be one that's something like, yeah, five points. So uh, obviously the longer questions give you more points, but let's take a look at the first question. So we click on it. It takes a moment to load. Um, and you can read the question, and you have here where you fill in the blank, and they give you the opportunity to select one of four answers. And you have a couple choices down here once you've entered it. You can hit save and continue, which does not grade it. It does not submit it. It just saves it. You may want to use save and continue if you're working ahead on the homework, which I recommend. These homeworks are not designed to be done at 11.30 um, the night that they're due. You won't finish them in time. Um, these, this button is really good if you're kind of working on it earlier while you're going through the video lectures and also doing the reading. Um, save and continue is good for that if you're not quite sure about the answer and want to ask me about it first. Uh, save and continue is an option. Now, grade it now. Grade it now will tell you if you're right or wrong. It'll give you a green check mark or a red X. All right. You are on attempt one. You see this little icon here. It shows you're on attempt one. You have three total attempts. Now, should you enter the wrong answer and hit grade it now, tell you're wrong, and it'll also give you a box down here that gives in this area to give you an explanation. Okay, you have the opportunity to learn from that. So this question was uh, worth one point. If you got it wrong, obviously you got zero for one. In the second attempt, if you learn from the explanation that the homework gives you, um, and you want to try it again. Uh, you hit grade it now, you got it wrong, you can try it again, you have up to three attempts, and let's say you get it right on the second time. Well, it just averages your two attempts, so you got a one out of uh, two attempts. So your grade will go from zero to 0.5. Okay, if you do it a third time, it may go as high as 0.7 if you get it right again. Okay, the question details change between attempts. It's the same type of question in this example, understanding opportunity cost, but the details will change, like the numbers will change and the details of the story will change. So it gives you an opportunity to earn some points back all the way up to um, two-thirds, but we rounded up to 0.7. Um, but the important thing to do is to hit grade it now at some point to let you know if you're right or wrong. Now, the homework works is like trial and error. It's a good way to study for the exams. If you do, let's say, 80 or above on the homework, um, I'm pretty confident that you're going to do probably 90 or above on the test. So um, you have that feather in your cap. If you don't, um, you can hit grade it now and have multiple attempts. Okay. Um, save and continue if you're not ready to submit it. All right. But the important thing, going all the way back, yeah, there may be two parts, so part A and part B, you have to do both. Um, the important thing, before the deadline, you have to hit, I'm done, grade the assignment now. If you don't do that, it just shows up as a zero on my end, and it's um, just as basically like you didn't do it. So please don't go through all the work and not hit, I'm done, grade the assignment, because that's how you turn in your assignment. Um, I have to give you a zero if you don't, if you don't do the other because um, I have no way of telling if you did it because it doesn't show me the work you did. So that's akin to 
uh, doing a physical homework and then not bringing it to class to turn in. Uh, professor in that situation wouldn't give you credit either, and thus I will not. Um, so again, you have three attempts. You can hit grade it now in each attempt, and that will tell you if you're right or wrong. Obviously, if you get it right, move on. Uh, if you get it wrong, use your other attempts to try to raise your score. Okay, um, But the only way to do the attempts is if you hit grade it now. Now, if you just want to do a few problems and, and save and continue because you're not ready to submit them, save and continue is your friend. Either way, in the end, you have to hit I am done, great assignment now to turn your homework in. So as you will see, uh, you may have weeks in a row where you have homeworks due. Uh, we may skip a week. It just all depends. The, the syllabus schedule will tell you exactly what's due when, and those dates are also in MindTap, and they'll be the first thing that pops up that you'll see. I highly highly recommend you not wait till till the weekend it's due to do these homeworks. Um, the idea in this class is, is these homeworks help you study. Um, they're 15% of your grade, which is a significant chunk, yet even if you didn't do the first one, you still could technically get a B, technically. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say if you don't do the homeworks, you're going to get not do well on the test, so you're not getting a B. So um, yes, this kind of forces you to study. Um, yes, they are tedious. No, they are not easy. Um, but in the end, you will see it will make test day so much better. Okay, so um, uh, this short video is just meant to, to show you what to do, how to submit the uh, MindTap homework. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me via email or phone, um, and I look forward to working with you. Thank you.